And we begin this Monday afternoon with the search for answers in that tragedy in Dryden. Four family members killed in an explosion. That tops our news at five. I'm Glenda Lewis and I'm Brian Abel. The blast happening early this morning at a home in the Victoria Meadows Mobile Home Park just north of Dryden Road. The victims identified as a woman in her 80s, her 39 year old granddaughter and her two teenage children, a son and a daughter. Seven Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner has been on the scene all day and has more on the ongoing investigation. Jim. Glenda and Brian, here's what we know. There could be three possible causes of this, but as I speak, let me show you what's going on right now. You see firefighters working in a specific area inside this mobile home. They've been shoveling debris into buckets like this orange one coming back. Three possible causes are the older woman who lived here and owned this, we are told was on oxygen. That's very flammable. Could be a natural gas explosion in this or something else. A third possibility. More on that in a minute. This all started out here this morning, 5 a.m. Dragon fire and Almont fire. You're needed for a structure fire. We have a trailer on fire. These pictures taken by neighbors show the intensity of the fire. Immediately after, they were awakened by the explosion. Loud. It shook the house. It was scary, very, very scary. And neighbors calling 911 reported the older woman was likely trapped inside. And is responding to Pheasant Lane. We are getting reports of an elderly female with dementia that lives there. They do not know if she is still in the house. They're impossible traps. So. The fire, it was like flames way high, and I was like, holy moly, I hope people got out of there. <laughs> because I was like, it, they're not getting out now when the flames were that high. I was like, holy moly. Michigan State Police are on the scene using a tracking dog that is checking for accelerants, something like gasoline. There are also detectives with the Lapeer County Sheriff's Office on this scene. Officials say it's too early to speculate on the cause or if any foul play is involved. Family of the four victims are here, but too distraught to talk. One said she is the daughter of the older woman inside, and it is her daughter and grandkids who were killed. Another neighbor across the street was a medic in the Navy said he got dressed and ran out, but the fire was too hot to try any kind of rescue. The homes on each side of the fire show how hot it was. Dealt with this stuff before. You knew it wasn't good? No, it definitely wasn't, especially when that house was like two-thirds engulfed in flames and smoke. Now again, taking a live look at what's going on here, they're continuing to shovel this debris, this rubble into shovels. They will take that to a lab to try to establish if an accelerant was used. Certainly if there was, that would change this uh, from anything from an accidental fire, but way, way, way too early to speculate. We're going to have more on this coming up next hour at 6, including the people in the line of fire who got the knock on the door at 5 a.m. to get out. We'll see you next hour at 6. Live in Dryden, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. So sorry to see that happen. Jim, thank you for the update from out there.